Hey guys, today I'm doing a makeup tutorial on Song Egyo, who recently came out in Descendants of the Sun, also known as Taeyang e Huye. And this is for my friend Alina, who requested this video. Um, I try to incorporate a lot of more uh, American products or Korean products that are available in the US. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you want this look, please keep on watching. Before applying any makeup on, I always make sure to put on SPF um, and I like this one because the texture isn't oily nor does it give a wide cast on your skin. And make sure that your neck area is also covered because the neckline is prone to aging. I don't know why I look like I'm really feeling my sunscreen but maybe I was that day. Since Song Yegyo is under contract with Laneige, I'll be using my BB cushion in number 21 and I did a whole video on this reviewing um, all these BB cushions that I've tried so if you're interested, please click on the link and I like to apply my BB cushion in dabbing patting motions rather than wiping motions and make sure that you cover the side parts of your nose very well I sometimes tend to forget and I see creases at the end of the day which is not pretty I also like to make sure that I apply foundation inside my hair so that there's no striking contrast between my natural skin tone and my BB cushion I'm going to be using this concealer in light I'm actually a huge fan of this concealer. I like it better than the NARS Creamy Concealer because it's much more lightweight and natural looking when you apply it. And using my finger, I'm going to dab those red spots that I've covered with my concealer. I like to let my foundation settle in before applying any blush, so I'll be filling in my brows. This was the lightest color that I found in my drawer, and because this is such a soft makeup look, I wanted to use um, a very light color for my brows. And I usually uh, define my the lower lashes of my brows first, and then I define the upper lashes. And then while connecting those two, I fill in my brows in little tiny strokes. It's important that you fill in your brows in several strokes instead of only a few because that way it creates a very natural look and it won't look like someone drew a line with a whiteboard marker. This brow pencil also has a powder tip and so I'm going to dab that in to fill in my eyebrows a little further. And for my other side, I'm going to repeat those steps. I'm going to outline the under area of my eyebrow and then the upper area of my eyebrow. And then just connecting those two lines and then filling them in with tiny little strokes. Using a clean spoolie, disperse the products to make it look more natural and excuse my bushy eyebrows. I am waiting to grow them out so that I can do a brow tutorial for you. So stay tuned for that. You can use any pink blush that you have at home and just make sure that you tap out the products before you apply your blush initially. You want your blush to look very subtle for this look. Now we're going to define the eyes a little bit with a chocolate bar palette and using my Morphe M441 brush. This is a very great blending brush to use. And I'm going to apply Salted Caramel from the chocolate bar as my base. And you want to apply this to where your eye sockets sink in. And then dabbing the product off from your brush, you're going to blend that product out to the wider area of your eyelids. Blend, blend, blend. Blend like a boss. Now using my Morphe E36, which is a smaller brush, and using Milk Chocolate, which is a darker shade of color, you're going to outline the inner corners of your eyes very lightly. This definitely isn't a smoky eye makeup, but it does make a slight difference to your eyes. And now we're going to apply a gel liner by Maybelline. Um, I like to apply gel liners more than pencil liners for tight lining because it's easier to apply. And sorry, the focus is so out of control right now. Um, I had no idea when I was filming this, but tight lining is simply connecting the dots of where your eyelashes are growing. And so if you think of it that way, it's easier to apply because your dots are are already there and so you just only need to connect them and I love this gel liner because it also comes with a brush and it makes tight lining so much easier than using a thick chubby pencil to outline and connect those dots now to the most important part of this look is the eyelashes and we're gonna curl our lashes once and then lift your curler in 45 degrees and curl it one more time. 
So by using this technique of pushing up your eyelashes twice, it makes a C curl instead of an L curl. And that way it really looks like you have a great curls in your eyelashes. And that's the look that Song Aegyo always goes for in this drama. So we're going to repeat that. Now using a mascara that holds curls very well, I'm going to take out the wand in twisting motion so that a lot of products don't come out with the wand. And this mascara is a little bit hard to apply because the wand is so big, but I'm going to apply this mascara in zigzag motions to really hold up my curls. And you just want to comb that through and through. This mascara is also great because it doesn't clump. I like to use a clean spoolie to comb through my lashes so that they look very even and very natural. Finally, onto the lips, I have two options for you. One is the Petite Bunny Gloss Bar by Tony Moly in Fuchsia and this L'Oreal in Sunset Angora. And these two are my favorites. Um, one is a little bit pink, the bunny is a little bit orange depending on your skin tone, whether you have a pink undertone or a yellow undertone either can work. I'm going to use both products in this tutorial and I'm a huge fan of these bunny lip gloss bars because they are very pigmented yet super hydrating. Urban Outfitters have them in store so they're very easy to purchase. To complete the elegant Song Aegyo look, I'll be wearing my pearl earrings and I'm going to straighten my hair a little bit. Using the Bumble and Bumble heat protector, I'm going to spray that before I use my PYT straightener to straighten my hair and make sure that the end is curled inwards. And that is my look for Song Aegyo's Descendants of the Sun. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and comment below. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my version of her makeup look. Thanks for watching!